Peter! What is it? There's something moving. Where? There, among the trees. It's still there. What is it? Look, look, there it is. It wants us to follow it. Let's give it a try. Keep close together. Further in. We must go further in. We're not safe in the open. <laughs> Please, we're not safe even here. But what are you afraid of? There's no one here but us. There are those who would betray us to, to her. You know who I mean. I was to meet you here and take you on to... Mrs. Beaver. I must take you where we can have a proper talk. Here we are. And it looks as though Mrs. Beaver is expecting us. Mrs. Beaver, I found them. I found them. So you've come at last. The potatoes are boiling, and I dare say, Mr. Beaver, you will catch us. Sons of Adam and the daughters of Eve. You can come and help me. Good, good. The warm in the oven for Mr. Beaver. In this weather, we shan't have any unwelcome visitors. We all know what that means. We don't. You've no chance never coming out alive. Oh, hang it all. There must be something we can do. It's no good, son of Adam. No good you're trying of all people. Now that Mrs. Beaver is on the move. Don't you know? The king. The lord of the whole wood. He has come back. He is in Narnia at this moment. It's he that we... Mm -hmm. Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> As in an old rhyme in these parts. At the sound of his roar, he bears his teeth. Sorrow's death. Will we see him? Why, daughter of Eve, that's why I brought you here. Is he... is he a man? A man? Certainly not. I tell you, he is king of the wood. Why, don't you know who is the king of beasts? You mean... man? Certainly not. I tell you, he is king of the wood. Why, don't you know who is the king of beasts? You mean... a lion? Certainly not. I tell you, he is king of the wood. Why, don't you know who is the king of beasts? You mean... a beaver? Certainly. The beaver. The great beaver. I shall feel rather nervous meeting a beaver. That you will, dearies, and no mistake, you will. Silly. Then we're safe. Safe? Don't you hear what Mrs. Beaver tells you? Of course you didn't save. But you could. He's good. I want to see him. <laughs> Lord love you, son of Adam. What a simple thing to say. <laughs> if you can, down the river, a good step from here, I'll take you to it. Then we can begin to do things. Then it will be the end. And your lives wouldn't be worth a shake of my whiskers. Where's Edmund? He's gone! We must be off. We'd better divide into search parties and all go in different directions. What for? Well, to look for Edmund, of course. There's absolutely no point in looking for him. We know where he's gone. Don't you understand? He's gone to her, to the... Mrs. Beaver. Has he ever been here alone? Yes. Yes, he has. And did he tell you who he'd met? Well, no, he didn't. Then mark my words. He has already met... Mrs. Beaver. I didn't like to mention it before, as he was your brother and all, but the moment I laid eyes on that young fellow, I said to myself, I said, food and eaten that young fellow. You can always tell them when you've lived long in Narnia. The only chance you have of saving yourselves... Simply sledge down in that direction. It's treachery.
treacherous. As bait. It's our only chance. It seems to me, my dears, that it's very important to know just when your brother slipped away, just this very night. Right, Mrs. Beaver. But he's food.